Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In Parsha's Truma, the Yidin are given the special mitzvah of building the Mishkan. We are going to create our own mini Mishkan out of homemade Play-Doh. Here are the supplies that we'll need. Water, flour, salt, three bowls, measuring beakers or you can use measuring spoons, red and yellow food coloring, three mixing spoons or sticks, a bunch of thin straws of the same color, scissors, paper, and not shown here but we'll also need parchment paper and a rolling pin. Let's begin. Set out your three bowls and measure four tablespoons of flour into each one using your measuring beakers or spoons. Next, add two tablespoons of salt to each bowl, then mix. Add two tablespoons of water to each bowl, add it gradually until it becomes Play-Doh consistency. Not too dry and not too sticky. If you see you added too much water, put more flour. If you find it too dry, add more water. Let's talk about why we are doing this project. In the desert, Hashem instructed the Yidin to build the Mishkan, which would be a home for him in this world. The Yidin were so excited, they ran to bring their finest wools, best linens, and all their gold to donate them for the construction of the Mishkan. Everyone helped build, sand, sew, and dye the materials. They were all so excited for Hashem to have a home right there in the desert near each one of them. After the Yidin came into Eretz Yisrael, they built the Beis HaMikdash, a more permanent home for Hashem. As time went on, the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed and a second Beis HaMikdash was built, only to be destroyed again. Add a few drops of red food coloring to one bowl. Mix it until all of the Play-Doh becomes red. Do the same with the yellow food coloring in a second bowl of Play-Doh. But wait, that's not the end of the story. When Mashiach comes, the third Beis HaMikdash will be built, never to be destroyed again. But until that time, even now in Galos, there is still one more resting place for Hashem here in this world, and that is in our very own hearts. Hashem desires that we make Him a home here in this world. Well, what is a home? A home is a place where you feel comfortable to be completely yourself. This is what Hashem wants. He wants a place where He can feel comfortable, a place where people know Hashem and where Torah and mitzvot are performed. So when we learn Torah and mitzvot, we are making a home for Hashem right inside ourselves, as well as all around us. We are creating a space where Hashem can be revealed and comfortable. What are some ways you can make yourself more of a home for Hashem? You can think about that as we continue with our project. Once all three Play-Dohs are ready, prepare a piece of parchment paper. Using a rolling pin, roll out the white Play-Doh nice and thin. Use one of the sticks to shape it into a rectangle cutting off the edges so that the sides of the rectangle are straight. We can pretend this white base is the ground because the Mishkan had no floor other than the ground. Let's talk about what the Mishkan consisted of. There was a structure that had two parts, the Kodesh, which took up two thirds of the space, and the Kodesh Akdashim, which took up a third of the space. The Kodesh contained the menorah, the Shulchan, and the Mizbeach HaZahav, the gold Mizbeach, while the Kodesh Akdashim contained the Aron with the Kruvim on top. Only the Kohen Gadol was allowed to go into the Kodesh Akdashim and only on one day a year, Yom Kippur. Now to make the structure that contained both the Kodesh and the Kodesh Akdashim, shape a piece of red Play-Doh into a rectangular shape, like a 3D rectangle. You can use the sticks to help you get flat sides. In this demo, we are not going to create all the individual details that we just mentioned, like the menorah, the shulchan, and so on. You can imagine that all of those details are included in this red structure that we are making. Or, if you would like, you are welcome to try making each of these parts on your own. Do you know why we chose the color red? It's because the Mishkan's roof was actually covered with red dyed ram skins. Isn't that interesting? When you have finished forming the red piece into more or less of a rectangle shape, place it at the far end of the white base. Next we will create the Mizbeach HaNechoshas, the copper Mizbeach where Karbanos were offered. Shape a piece of yellow Play-Doh into a small cube. Again, you can use the sticks to help you achieve flat sides. Place it near the red structure. Take another piece of yellow Play-Doh of a similar size, shape it into a ramp and connect it to the cube. This is the ramp the Kohanim would walk up to offer Karbanos. All of this space around the Mizbeach HaNechoshas and the Kodesh and Kodesh HaKdashim was called the Chatzar, the courtyard. The Chatzar was fenced in by pillars and braided material wrapped around the whole space. We will cut our straws into pieces of equal length and these will be like the pillars that stood around the courtyard. Next, take a sheet of white paper and cut two long strips that are the same width as the length of the straws. 
You can lay one of the straw pieces on the paper to measure the right width. Now place the straw pillars vertically along the perimeter of the white Play-Doh rectangle, which is the ground of our little mishkan. Try as best you can to space them equally apart. Wrap the white strips around the straws. These will be the braided hangings that surrounded the chatzar, the courtyard. Make creases at the corners and for the entrance so that the paper smoothly fits around. Then secure the walls with tape. We don't want the walls to fall. Tape the loose ends on the outside and also put a few pieces of tape on the inside to make sure the straws stay attached to the paper. In the Mishkan, the entrance to the courtyard was a beautiful curtain-like screen woven with beautiful colors. You can imagine our little entranceway looked just like that. Or you can even color the entranceway with some markers if you'd like. Use the end of one of the sticks to etch details into the Kodesh and Kodesh Akdashim structure. Then do the same for the Mizbeach. Yay, your mini Mishkan is ready! If you've got some little menchis, they can be the Kohanim that work in the Mishkan. Have fun and we'll see you next week!